up today we're out for a new adventure heading out to the beach going to see what they have cooking we might even do some cooking might do some diving we'll see what's up stay tuned I saw you have a pocket. Yeah, fresh water. Gotta have fresh water. Always, always fresh water. The ice, have more ice. The bread. Ice, pan, ice, pan, ice. Yeah. The grill. The Whenever I bring my grill in. Have oil. I'm gonna bring, I'm bring my clothes. <laughs> That's the oil we're looking for. I have oil too. We need to stop and get some oil. Alright, good man. Alright, go slide around. Yeah, but I mean, now we drive too fast. Easy drive. I know buns. One more. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them no, you're, you're not boss, you don't care. <laughs> Five feet two. Three bills. Feet two. You see them? I'm alright. Well roasting. Well roast, well One roast. time you turn. One time you turn. A lick of pot. A lick of pot breadfruit. Um. Mm. So one time you turn and then good. Yeah. Alright, my boss. Respect. Live you. Alright. Bless up. Yeah, live. You're not a couple of friends. Pulling in now. This one pull out a bird core and I test it for bird box. Heading in there, you don't know, sir. So I'll do a private call. Everything I want back thing. Everything on the inside the camp thing. Van back where I run. Out. In the van back. What we're doing is we're heading down to a private beach. So we're going to take this road probably around 10, 15 minutes. Rough, bumpy road, old road. You see a lot of old stones that were here, like a plantation property. You can hear the parrots flying. Just out in the wild, out in the bush. Whole heap of cut stone on the road. And I said, these were done from plantation days. farms up here you have people that have hog have chicken around the place you can't really hear the chicken them no more but sometimes you come up people shoot here for bird bush and you think is wild hog but it's really somebody hog in the bush that them farming out wild basically just grazing uh, is what roadblock yes, road. clear the road and out again Still at that jam. Blood fire. That thing with fun back. <laughs> you have to duck. <laughs> and drive us and watch your head. See there again. You better watch your head. Still that chain bush, but it's like you can feel it. You can feel the sea breeze. You're getting closer. What a journey. That's why in life them say. The destination is not always a journey. The journey is what makes the destination. You gotta trust me. <laughs> Oi. Oi. I'm 
and I have still a dodge. Oh, All the rich destination we are dodge. I'm from the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Man, traumatized from the drive down. <laughs> Out of the van back and into the sea. And I can do some spearfishing out there. Brought my spearfishing gear. Probably can find somewhere we can touch up and see some breaks out there like a nice reef. Oh, this is lovely. Social distancing at its finest. Tactics on. So you use a stern or liquid. Right. I like the cold. Right. It's a lot quicker. Two minutes I'll be ready. Two minutes I'll be ready. I know what it is. Look out, let it sink. Sit down, ain't it? Right. Good, good soup, boy. No rotten tooth. Right, 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 right. You got the rotten tooth in there, man. Find a tooth? Yeah. We'll find a tooth for you. Yeah, no, there's no piece of tooth. That's a clean tooth. Drinking around me, goat belly, banana, everything I need. Carrot. Carrot, everything. Yeah, man, yellow, yeah, man, everything. Good substance, you know. You roast the goat head until you get a nice pie. You see all of that? That is all goodness. First thing is the manish water. All that loveliness, the goat belly right there. Spinners. You can see it have the, the dumpling in the spinners, the goat belly, little piece of banana cooked down in it. Oh man, look at that. The perfect thing. Nothing like some manish water. Anywhere you go, any type of link up you're having. Goat belly soup. Always a favorite. The yellow yam. We're in Trelawney. This is the place for yam. This is what you see in Bolt made famous in his parish. Yellow yam. This is why we run fast. You know the fan favorite. Every time in Jamaica something is happening, there is curry goat, there is manish water, goat belly happy and everything. That's lovely. That's absolutely spectacular. That's very, very good manish water. The pepper is in there. You can taste the scotch bonnet pepper in there. There's goat. You can taste the rami, the rinking rami, what them always talk about when you're doing manish water, you're doing a curry goat, that ram goat. Them don't really, we don't really like the, the, the female goat them when we're cooking down here. We love the rinkingness of the rami. And that is brought out in this soup. The flavor is excellent. You can taste the thyme, the scotch bonnet. All the flavors are bursting in there. It's absolutely lovely, absolutely great. This is the goat belly itself that we're going to try now. Look at that. That meat is so sweet. It's not, it doesn't have the same goat flavor as the, the curry goat wood, that intense rami flavor, but it still has that hint of rami in it. And it's just tender, cooked down perfectly. And the flavor is, is, is really, really good. The, the flavor of the goat is in it and it's mixed with the pepper. So it has a little heat on the meat as well. It's not just in the soup water that the heat is in. Look at that. Spinners. One more thing that has to be in there. Mm. Piece of thyme. Help to flavor the pot. Wow. No bother go and stush when you give them around. And it's manish water time. Remember. 
flavor in the bone too. If you come from Jamaica, you know, so when the soup down to here, you have to start stir the cup and get it round. You stir the cup and get it round, you get you see all that goat meat come to the top. All of that goat meat come to the top. Now you stir it right round till you get the piece that you want. And then you taste the piece that you want. The chef got did an amazing job on this. The green banana in there gives it a nice edge. The yam in there, everything is just flowing together. The fusion of everything in it is absolutely amazing. Lovely soup, the pepper, the heat coming off of it. From you smelt it, from the first time you smell it, you smell the goat, you smell the rami, and you smell the pepper. Can't go wrong with manish water upon a beach. As we said, this is the ultimate social distance. Jamaica, this island, manish water. Let's see what them have next coming out for the fire. Oh my god, bro, you were just talking about this. What's his name? Neil. Forky put fire upon me, had to come. Just did a pot of pepper shrimp. Fire and the heat upon me. Tea piece of chicken before anybody. Oh, look at that. Perfect rock holder for my drink. York chicken on a Sunday. On a private beach, York chicken good anytime. But, but, excellent heat, excellent smoke is into it. It was on that grill for a little while and the smoke was infused into it. The pepper, the pimento, the usual suspect. You know the suspects. We've done jerk chicken many times. You know the usual flavors that are in there. This one, on point again. So the pepper shrimp is done, that I was doing. And this is the local pepper shrimp. The local shrimp that you'd find in our rivers normally. This is the invasive species. Soft shell, hard shell. These are killing out these, killing our pepper shrimp industry. We have to be importing shrimp to make pepper shrimp in places as middle quarters where these rivers, these shrimps used to survive in the rivers and are now being eaten by these. So it's our duty to eat all of these, just like the lionfish, it's the duty of us to consume these. This is the only one that was out of 10 pounds of this. There was one of this. So you can imagine what they're doing to the river systems here. So whole heap of pepper went into it. I had some oil that I made last night. I infused with some garlic, put some garlic in the oil and infused that last night and put that in the pot, cut up a whole heap of pepper around three scotch bonnet, some garlic, and then just infuse it with some salt and pepper on top of that. Added it to it, and then this is it. Everybody said pepper. It's supposed to pepper, it's pepper shrimp. Mm. Perfect. Yeah man, that's how pepper shrimp. That's how pepper shrimp supposed to be like that. This one you can't eat like that. Whole shell into the mouth. Chew up everything. Perfect food. This one, 
can do that, but well, much tougher shell. Harder to get into, harder to chew. And that's the problem, it's harder to get the flavor. And I cut these in the stomach so that the flavor and the pepper would go in. Flavor is caught, the flavor is soaked into it. It's good, but it's not as good as our local shrimp. That small shrimp packs such more flavor because you can eat the shell and everything onto it. This? Mm -hmm. Not like that. Sunday, enjoying the beach. Nice cooking, nice food. Social distance, being safe. I'm gonna feel it, I'm gonna feel it sitting like an apprentice, you know. Nah, it's very hot. Yeah, man, just go and see me. And I used to eat real Jamaican man, Fred Abun. So, we'll see when I like the bun, don't I?